Okay, making this video to give you a uh, demonstration of how to put these kits together. This is the Tesla air circuit in the most primitive form. Anybody who builds one of these should maybe think about trying to find a way to improve on this. Um, there's a few good ideas with variable capacitors and that sort of thing. So here's a schematic again, and um, it's drawn a little more like it'll look like if you just twist them all together instead of square. Here's the part numbers again if you want to buy them somewhere else. Um, sometimes uh, I sell these kits on eBay, and um, somebody wanted me to show how to put one together. So here's what it looks like up close. Here's the schematics one more time, and uh, I'm going to put one together real quick. So these are your electrolytic capacitors, if you will. These have a plus and a minus, plus minus. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a plus, there's a minus. Pretty easy. And here's our diodes. They look a little different depending on what you get. The red line is the um, positive directional. So, start with the negative, going away, Okay, pretty easy so far. You see negative and we're going up and down. We're going to go up and down again. Okay, here's a couple more. You see the other side. Try and do this quick so it's not very pretty. But to give you an idea, in case those uh, schematics were confusing, some of the people that got these from me wanted more instructions than just the parts. I didn't explain it very good in my other videos. I just kind of showed you a mess of wires. Okay, we're getting there now, see? Like I said, it's not my best wiring. Probably the worst ever, but hey. Okay. Now, these are your ceramic capacitors. 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seems to be about the best. And these are non-directional, so you just hook them on here. They go up and away. That's it. Sloppy but done. Here's the other one. That's pretty much it. You can put these on a board or not. It doesn't really matter. And when you go to hook them together, you can go um, this way here with your negatives to positive and run them this way. Um, then you have an antennas up top. And your grounds down here. Also, this one works good. Try this one. Hook your ground and antenna to one, and then this will be your ground. You have one ground here, one antenna here. Hook these up how you like. So, you know, this way, this way, this way. Um, any of those will give you slightly different readings. Your biggest change will be your antenna, but um, there's lots of better improvements on this too variable capacitors and that way you can tune 
the frequency to strongest radio station or strongest whatever. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you. And um, thanks for buying my kits. All right.